logically this, logically that. Now let's see what kind of logic I can pull out of my logical hat. You know, and I guess in this video, I'm going to reply to John Logic's video. You know what I mean? Because it's not going to reply to itself. <laughs> it's a, um, but the thing is, I am very peculiar about my wording. Now, when I say my thoughts on interracial dating relationships, it is my thoughts thoughts, my opinions. I didn't put out put it out there as some sort of definitive truth. Um, you know, it's not like Stephen Molyneux or Stephen Molyneux would say, oh, here's the truth behind slavery. Here, here's the truth behind the death of Robert Williams, where he just said, oh, this is the truth. No, you know, I admit in that video, I did a whole lot of generalizing and stigmatizing. But when it comes to interracial relationship, it is a very delicate subject, it is a very slippery slope. And I used uh, my own observations and conversations that I had to come to my conclusion. And a lot of people seem to agree with me. Now, in my video, I did not, even though, uh, you know what I'm saying, listening to John Logic, um, it brought the whole conversation of interracial dating on the table and I said well it'll be interesting to do a video on this just like when Monty brought the whole religion thing up and people did videos on religion now in my video I did not even mention his name and I've said if the shoe fits if the shoe didn't fit you know and maybe John Logic is in the 10% uh, where we can say that race had no effect on their, uh, you know what I'm saying, on their motives, you know, to, to be with his significant other. You know, it may have not had any effect. I never said it did. I never said that, hey, this is how I thought John Logic's uh, relationship is. You know, this, this is, this is, these are the formalities of it, you know, and so forth. No, you know, it may not have applied to him. But in a lot of that video, I was talking about other things. You know, I talked about Whoopi Goldberg and so forth. But you know the thing is when it comes to interracial dating in a lot of instances that yes the the race you know what I'm saying the, the affects the decision and you know and I can't be a fool and ignore it. You know some people are honest about it some people are not. There are some people that say that yes you know uh, I prefer white women, I prefer light-skinned women, I prefer Latino women, or prefer any other than that their own race, as the so to say. And just because you date outside your race, you know what I mean? It doesn't make you seem like somebody that's really thinking outside the box, someone that's open-minded and people that want to stay in their race are closed-minded. Trust me, um, interracial relationships are a dime a dozen. Especially when you have uh, successful, well-rounded black men and white women. You know, what I mean, they're not—they're they're not something brand new, you know, and so forth. You know, and that's the thing. And there's many reasons why, um, you know, black men date white women, or, or black women date white men. You know, and a lot of it is they're not being honest with themselves. It's not just, well, I just so happen to love this person. You know, them being white had no effect on my decision. Uh, <laughs> in some cases, you know, it does. You know, because there's a lot of positive uh, connotations with white people. You know, with white women, they're just looked at as a trophy wife. Your life is going to be better. You know, um, you're going to... Um, you know, you're going to up your status with white women. White women are supposedly uh, more submissive, more supportive. You know, and even if you got into some sort of freak accident where you come out looking like the toxic Avenger, the white woman is going to support you. There are even some black men that are foolish to believe that white women won't get them for uh, matrimony, won't get into their pockets, won't get them for child support, you know, and things of that nature. Just like there's black women who think that 
And these people think that all other women will be a better option than black women. So I'm speaking about these individuals. I didn't put John in that category. He's a, somebody who had married. He was in an interracial marriage. But I'm just talking about looking at it in general. And the concept of, uh, you know, of, you know, having mixed children, light-skinned children that some black people, um, they just don't like their skin complexion. They don't like themselves. Or, you know, this belief that mixed children are just automatically uh, uh, pretty. You know, um, we've heard this come out of people's mouths. I remember listening to one of Tommy Sotomayor's show that some female, she had mixed kids because she didn't want, uh, you know, her kids to uh, come out darker, you know, live the life that she lived. You know, there's a documentary called Dark Skinned Girls, you know, about how people are, uh, you know, or, you know what I'm saying, want their children to come out light-skinned. So, therefore, it creates a dilemma, you know, in the black community. And then looking at all the successful black men that are with white women. Yes, I understand that the majority of black men are with black women. They prefer black women. But there's a large, there's a disproportionate, uh, 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 disproportionate number of black men wanting white females, you know what I'm saying, whether they're famous, you know, some of them are successful or some of them go after them, other than reason saying, hey, I just uh, found love. When you look at the celebrities, you know, I'm like, the list goes on. You know, James Earl Jones, Jones Sidney Portnier, the late Don Cornelius. I'm like, how can Don Cornelius be with a white woman? Charles Barkley, Cuba Gooding Jr., uh, 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 Scotty Pimpin, Michael Jordan, um, uh, uh, Derek Luke, uh, you know what I'm saying, Terrence Howard, I'm like, you know, <laughs> and if they're not with a white woman, you know, they'll be with a Latino woman, they'll be with a light-skinned black female, well, at least they're, they're with a black female, but, you know, and, and that's the thing, and people observe it, and, you know, and then the black men, successful black men, or what we consider handsome black men, being with what some would consider average looking white women, you know, or black men bragging about, you know, being with white women like they've just hit the lottery or the jackpot. Now, I think about that joke uh, Damien Waynes did. He said that, you know, some of these brothers, when they get them a white woman, they could be handicapped, they can get them directly from the Special Olympics and they're bragging about what they got. <laughs> you know, it's a defigured white woman. You know, and um, even is that true for all case scenarios? No, but people laughed at that joke. You know what I'm saying? They found some, they sound, find it uh, uh, somewhat humorous because there was some truth in it. But you know, you see black black men with just what some people may consider a detestable white female, but you know they're white. You know, things of that nature. Or that Chris Rock joke. Chris Rock said that a lot of black women are mad that, um, I, I, you know, an a average fee, uh, in someone who looks like Ricky Lake, a white woman that looks like Ricky Lake, Ricky Lake, and we're talking about someone that is super average looking, can go into a predominantly black club and get a black man, you know, and, and there are just some truth to that, you know, that, that some people that, that, you know, they'll choose a mediocre white female than in a fairly attractive a black you know what I'm saying, female. All right, some people just feeling that white people are a better option. You know, that you know, they may be so fixed on getting them a white person or a person outside their race that they can have the perfect match standing in front of their face, but they're going to ignore them all because they are the same color as them. You know, so it may not apply to John, but it does apply to a lot of people. I'm going to put my own nephew, my own nephew, I'm going to put him, I'm going to put him on blast, I'm going to put him inside that skillet. Now he's a handsome black gentleman, he's 18 years old, he's like 6'2", 6'3", he has high cheekbones, you know, he's athletically built, he runs, uh, you know, he went to uh, college on a track scholarship. You know, and you know, and young people are honest. They they seem to be a lot more honest than old people. When he says that, he just says that he's not into black females. You know, what I'm saying he likes white girls. You know, that's all. 
So, um, you know, when, when it comes to um, my nephew there, now, his white girlfriend, I would say is pretty average. You know, I'm like, you know, she's just pretty and she's just average, you know, there's no bells and whistles. I do feel that if he was to get him a black girl, he'll have a black female that is more attractive than the white female he's with. Not saying that he can't get a more attractive white female. And some people say, well, maybe they're just kindred souls. They're made for each other or whatever. But my nephew literally states that he only dates white females. So there could have been his perfect match was, he was standing next to him, but he overlooked it because he was fixed on someone outside the race, you know, and this is, um, and we can't act like this don't go on. Now, we're gonna go into the concept of white supremacy. Now, John said something about, I rule my house or whatever. He's talking about, you know, cause I quoted something Nellie Fuller said in this concept of white supremacy, Nellie Fuller acknowledges it. Welshine acknowledges it. Tariq Nasheed, Dr. Umar Johnson, Randall Robertson, you know, even a lot of white people acknowledge that white supremacy does exist and in, in John's household he made rule I'm pretty sure there are a lot of black men married to white women and they come home and they say hey woman cook me my steak you know uh, I gotta fetch my slippers you know I'm not saying he does that you know that he's that commanding or he's that of a total tutorian in his household but when I talk about white supremacy, the overall power that white people have in this country, uh, you know, if an alien was to come down and observe things, he'll say, yeah, these people over here has more power. Why do white people have more power? Some people could say, oh, well, they just, they're just smarter and they just work harder, you know, and this doesn't, white supremacy doesn't mean that every single white person is part of the Ku Klux Klan or every single white person has ill intent for a black person that want to sabotage a black person now we know that there are white people adopting black kids or whatever there's white people out there sticking their necks out for blacks this doesn't mean that every single white person is racist but it does mean that the system they have built favors them more than it favors black people white people have their own individuality you know, when a white woman goes into a store or, or whatever and act a fool, she's an individual. They're like, oh, that's just a, you know what I'm saying, just a nutcase there. But a black person, you know, seems to be a representation of their own race. You know, black people are pigeonholed. It's like when someone uh, who has a black sounding name, you know what I mean, they don't get a call back, you know, and they don't have to be one of them ghetto names. They can even sound African. There was a female on YouTube who just talks about being a dark-skinned woman and she made a video saying that her African name was was Cheeky or you know something of that nature Cheeky you know I, I think it is but that sounds like a black name somebody with the name of Cheeky or you know I may be mispronouncing it wrong may not get a call back for a job as if someone who has the name of Amanda or you know black sounding voices you know and they did a research that if, even if you was uh, to um, have a watch, let's say you want to put a watch on display on eBay, you know, you know, have that watch around your wrist. A watch around the wrist of a white man will sell more than a watch around the wrist of a black man, even if the watches are the same and are in the same price. You know, I'm like people react off color. Now, John called me a racist you know and I get well, what is the criteria of being a racist even though I criticized a, a black people for it but I guess I'm a racist because I'm frowning on interracial relationships when I wasn't frowning on it I was giving you my opinion about it and a lot of people are disingenuous I wish people would just be honest and be like I, um, I, I like black I, I just like white people you know I, that's who I want you know, I felt that, you know what I'm saying, there are better options and I'll have a better life with them, you know, and so forth. And I feel that that's really the, having, wrong, is having the wrong mentality, not saying John has this uh, mentality. But, you know what I mean, John has, and that's the thing about 
inter, people in interracial relationships. They look, they look at the other race, you know, especially they look at white people with rose-colored spectacles. You know, they're going to downplay racism. They're going to, you know what I'm saying, they're not going to, you know, in, in just doing my research on black people and white people's turbulent history, I have a right to feel the way that I do, just from the numerous books. And finding racism in this country is not hard. It's not like I got to, you know what I mean, work work up and I say, well, I'm going to find that racism. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, I'll get you, I guarantee you I'll find you some racism by uh, next Tuesday. No, it's easy. You know, you can just make a comment. I made a comment on a video, on a video called uh, Interesting or Unknown Facts About Napoleon Bonaparte. You know, the you know the Emperor of France and you know, and I said that he had a black general. He had a black general working on him. And I got a bunch of racist responses all because I said Napoleon Bonaparte had a black general working under him. It's not, it's not hard to find at all. And to understand that you have racism in high places. These ain't some troll looking white people living in their mom's basement. No, we're talking about racism going, you know what I'm saying, the, the police force, the chief commissioner. I'm like, it's, it's, it's not hard at all. You know, and under the system of white supremacy, of course, the white people are going to kind of downplay their racism. And it's funny that John Logic gained all these subscribers by going hard at Tommy Sotomayor. And now he almost sounds like Tommy Sotomayor or, or, or David Carl or, or Queasy in defending white people and saying, huh, you know what I'm saying? Like when we talk all this racist stuff, you know, it's all uh, hyperbolic hyperbabble. You know, like, oh, what are you talking about? You know, I, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's there's pla there's places in this country that a black man can't go into. By Martinsville, Indiana, uh, Jasper, Texas. You know, and this racism goes all the way up to high places. It's not just, as I say, it's not just a bunch of inbred hicks that sniff glue. You know, and some people say, well. White people aren't that racist. You have these, just these racist institutions that was constructed a long time ago and it's just, you know, and they have these institutions and these ideologies must be uninstalled. And I sort of agree with that. That, you know what I'm saying, when things were, were you know, say come into formation, that America was an extremely racist place and that, you know, and, and it just got so embedded in American culture that it's going to be hard to remove unless we just completely tear everything down and then rebuild it. So I can understand that aspect, but you know what I mean? But in calling somebody a racist all because I scrutinize, because you know, I understand that white people are delicate. You know what I mean? And a black man will defend white people harder than a white man will defend, white people will defend themselves. So I'm not going to try to sway John's opinion. You know, I'm like, that's what white supremacy done. They have trained black men, you know, like Tommy Sotomayor, David Carl, to go to bat for him. And you know what I mean? The, the go, the go hard in the paint for them, you know, and things of that nature, and trying to debunk the concept or the ideas of white supremacy when it's not that hard to find. But that's all I want to say. Got to keep my video short. Thanks for watching, and never stop learning.